All right, it's a beautiful day. I'm gonna get ready for my workout at lunch. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do kind of the same workout, but I'm hoping to adapt to it a little bit better. So I'm gonna do some goblet squats and then I'm gonna go out, ride my bike for maybe an hour and 20 minutes or so, something like that. And I'm going to do three sets of four minute intervals and we're gonna do it at the level of lactate threshold. So let's do it. So what am I talking about with this training? What happens is lactate threshold is the heart rate basically that you could sustain for like a half hour. And the way to test it, some people say an hour, but it, that could be true. Um, let me know in the comment section below. But it's the heart rate that I can sustain for about a half an hour. So the way to test your lactate threshold in simple terms is to go out for a half an hour and find a road and go as hard as you humanly can and sustain it for about a half an hour. And what you do is you set your heart rate, add about 10 minutes into it, you set your heart rate and you get the average heart rate for the last 20 minutes of that half hour. That is essentially close enough to know what your lactate threshold is. That's the heart rate where you, you can't do much more than that. So for in my particular case right now, my lactate threshold is 169. So when you do lactate threshold, quote unquote, training, you wanna stay like, you know, somewhere in the neighborhood of about four, four or five beats below that. So it's hard, but it's not your maximum. And the idea is you're gonna train your body to basically learn how to sustain the effort act at that level and you want to start building it up. So eventually, as it gets closer and closer to the cyclocross season, I'm gonna start doing eight minutes and then 16 minutes and then 15 and 20 minutes. And the ultimate goal would be to be able to do it for an hour, which is uh, what the races are. And that's the type of training that I'm doing. So I thought I'd explain that so you understand what I'm what I'm talking about. What happens is you want to start accumulating time at that lactate threshold. So uh, you, the best way to do that is intervals. So you do um, a set, let's say four minutes, and then you take a break, and then you do another four minutes. And you could either do more sets or you can make those sets last longer. And that's what I mean by intervals is I do repeated efforts of the same thing. So you do four minutes, take four minutes off and then do another four minutes and then take another four minutes off and do another four minutes all right so let's look at the stats today the time was an hour and 36 minutes i rode almost 28 miles average 17.4 miles per hour max 25.4 elevation doesn't really matter So the heart rate, I, the average was 134 for the total ride. Maximum was 165. Burned uh, 1,147 calories. So those are the heart rate zones, and uh, the Wahoo has them a little differently, but basically that big number there, uh, that's the majority, that's the endurance or aerobic zone. Uh, the fourth one, which is the lactate threshold, which is the intervals that I did there, and you could see it was a very nice day, uh, about 65 degrees. Perfect day to ride a bike.